Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Colin's Garage. Today I am reviewing set number 75320 Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Hey boo boo, say hi to my dog Bentley, he's back there. But this battle pack here, this is a $20 battle pack. Like most, well, like all the new battle packs are. And I think, however, this has the best value for your money out of any battle pack. So there's three major things in this. First of all, you get your scout trooper here, which comes with this really awesome looking and very massable speeder bike. Like this is a really good speeder bike. I think it's the 7YZ model, I don't know too much. Um, and you get this really cool looking turret. It reminds me of a sniper droidica, but it's got um, blasters for feet, so that's cool. It's that really cool looking guy there. And this barricade here, this little snowy barricade thing, I got a stormtrooper, snow trooper attached to it. Um, it doesn't look the best, honestly. But it's got some good functionality. You got uh, right here a little spot to hold a binoc to hold binoculars or a blaster or something. Um, and in the front, you got like good cover for your snow troopers to hide on and fire away from, or your rebel troopers or whoever you're using this barricade diorama for. And then, of course, probably the main draw to this set. Snow Troopers, and a really good, cheap set. Never mind. Uh, you can stand up. These are pretty much the two variations. You get one with the different shoulder, with the leg, leg cape waist thing, and then the long blaster, if you want them to have that. Then you get the one with the normal thing, base cape, and the shorter blaster. Another thing I like about this is that their heads are different. Not a single head in this battle pack is the exact same. Boom, look at that. You don't see that often in battle packs. Lego uses the Lego would usually use the same headpiece for each snow trooper. But not in this. This is actually really good. So, that's another plus to this set. And where is this helmet? I'm having competence issues on camera. I'm exposed. Another good thing about this, it takes a little bit. Alright, that's actually faster than I expected. Um, move, you, move away, Snow Troopers. We got the Scout Trooper, which... Finally, we get a battle pack of all massable minifigures. They're pretty much all the same except for this Scout Trooper, which looks amazing. And I think really the only other set it comes in is like the indoor chase diorama. So this is really nice to get in this cheap set for, um, well, cheap. And then it also comes with a speeder which is pretty much the same thing you get in the um, chase diorama, like I already touched on earlier. So this is a really amazing battle pack. I apologize for the mess I made with it, but this, I gotta give a solid eight out of, nine, nine out of 10. The only issue with this, it's, it's just snow troopers. I want like a, you know, just regular, four regular Stormtrooper battle pack. Or three Stormtroopers, throw in a, um, Scout Trooper. And I don't, and I want something like this with three separate builds. It'll be one of them being a lot more complex than the others. One being very detailed, pretty much. And one just being simple yet awesome. Like, this battle pack does everything I want from a battle pack. Perfectly. Everything is amazing in this battle pack. The snow troopers, 
I don't love, love the Snow Troopers, but this is an amazing figure. And I now have amassed my Imperial Army more. So, overall, probably a 9.5 out of 10. Not 9, 9.5. This is a perfect battle pack, pretty much. Thank you all for watching my first ever review. If you didn't notice, I got a placemat from opening an Eevee box earlier today. And I'm going to be filming all my new, all my future videos on this placemat. So, get ready for that. So, peace out. Bye.